A former state senator who served more than two years in federal prison for bribery may want her old job back. Diane Wilkerson has reportedly pulled the nomination papers needed to get on the ballot in the second Suffolk district race. Now, Wilkerson was a trailblazer, the first black woman to be a partner in a major law firm in Boston, and the first black woman elected to the state senate in 1992. But she also had a string of problems, starting with a conviction for failing to file income taxes and and ending with an FBI sting in which she was caught taking cash bribes and stuffing them into her clothes. Well, she resigned, pleaded guilty to the charges, and served her time. As WBZ's John Keller shows us, Wilkerson has quietly been working on a comeback for a while, but her opponents won't be scared off. She was the rising star of Boston's black leadership, destined, some thought to become the city's first black mayor. Then came the downfall. But after serving time in prison, Wilkerson has in recent years resumed her civic and political activism. I have a lot of respect for much of what she's done in the community. John, I believe that everyone uh, has a right to run. I think it's exciting. <laughs> But while state representatives Nika Eligardo and Liz Miranda and former federal housing official Reverend Minyard Culpepper all welcomed Wilkerson's return, they also served notice. There will be no deferring to the past. I am the housing candidate and I will be the housing senator. I'm the only candidate in this race who has the experience in this record of building affordable housing in the district. I have fought and I have won. I have been part of this community my entire life. Uh, I've been working 20 years, neighbor to neighbor, block to block, turning talk into action. And in the three years that I've been in the state house, I've been able to deliver on all the issues we care a lot about here. We're similar around black power, around reparations. So it really is going to come down to what is the leadership style you want to see? Somebody that's tough and a fighter and is able to compromise and get things done, not by bullying, not by picking the low-hanging fruit, but by taking on intractable problems. Now, there's another candidate who has pulled papers in this race, Deacon James Grant of the 12th Baptist Church in Paula. We reached out to Senator Wilkerson for comment. She declined our interview request. All right, so the question is, is her past going to be a problem if she does decide to run? Look, sh sh for sure there will be some voters who will be put off by that. I suspect that the warm reception she's gotten from the community in general since her return to public life indicates that more people believe in redemption and second chances. But... I think for the voters, uh, you heard what those other candidates said. They're looking to the future. They've got records of accomplishment that are recent. Uh, it's going to be tough for her to get, to get it together organizationally because she's coming in late and to deal with these other formidable candidates who are focused on the future rather than the past. All right. We know you'll be watching it. John Keller, thanks so much. Lisa? Paula, John.